I just naturally think of the Berna in any situation now. I don't even think of the Glock. This is my couch where I was at that night. And as you can see, I've got my Berna in there and I got a Glock in there. <laughs> so. All right, John. So I am Chris from Berna and John, I hear you have a great story. Tell me about yourself. Well, I'm a 52 year old guy. I uh, live alone. I just bought a home here about a year and a half ago in Mishawaka, Indiana great neighborhood have a couple of police officers that live down the street from me on the same block i have nine years in the air force uh i've been out for seems like a lifetime ago tell me about what happened that day when you had your encounter I figured i'd just take a couple hour power nap in my recliner and uh, just go from there i've owned this house for a little over a year and a half and i have never forgotten to lock my front door until that night and it was at about 3.15 that uh, I heard a noise in my front and closed porch. And then all of a sudden, this huge guy, 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six, just barreled through my uh, my front door. And oh, I went to aim for the chest. And then he was around my love seat just enough that his leg was just sticking out. And I thought, let's go for the knee, you know. And so I fired once at the knee. But I know he fell backwards out my door hit his head on my uh, uh, concrete uh, front porch enclosure, and I called the police. And within two minutes, I had five squad cars here. Uh, they had uh, taken them, called an EMS medical unit and a fire truck. I seen them uh, escorting him to the ambulance. He was limping really hard. Police came back in, uh, asked they could see what I had hit him with because there was no blood. So I took out the burner and showed one of the officers and he goes, I just bought my wife one of these, a pink one. <laughs> he goes, I wondered how effective they would be. And he said, looking from the, from the size of that monster, he goes, he goes, I feel better now knowing that she does have, you know, capability in her hands because I guess they haven't ha really had a need to use it. So what, what, what brought you to the world of burners? Why did you feel you needed to purchase one? I just kept trying out different models, and then I ran across the Bernas. They're small. I mean, it's just slightly bigger than my Glock. So I thought, you know, all right, let's get it. Let's try it and see if it, you know, performs as nice as it looks. You know, it exceeded every expectation. I've got a wood garage, single car garage, and I thought, well, I'm going to try this and see how much of a dent it puts in my garage uh, wall you know it punched right through so i was just imagining what that would do to somebody's ribs or their kneecaps things like that and i thought here is the perfect item i can have feel totally safe and no i'm not going to kill anybody i've seen enough death and destruction to last two lifetimes and i don't believe in causing a death unless it's just absolutely necessary you know i have in my little armrest of my couch you know i have my burner and my glock and I have learned by the feel, you know, that I always go for the burn at first, you know, and if the situation warrants it, well, I can always get back to the Glock if I have to. But I think that people that even have a tiny bit of doubt whether they could pull the trigger or not with a real gun won't have any doubt pulling a trigger with the burner.